Welcome back, it's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry, of course, and we are in the testing world once more, looking at another add-on. Um, some slight frustration of watching me drag tokens around the screen at the normal base Foundry speed. Um, that takes a while. Somebody suggested uh, a little add-on called Token Ease. So that's what we're going to look at today. So uh, just looking at my active modules here. Um, I haven't activated it yet. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Token ease. I've ticked it. Let's save that. It's going to obviously reload our scene for us. And we can go back into our modules and see the active modules have now got token ease added on. Now the whole point of token ease um, is this module changes foundry token animation behavior to introduce customizable animations. You can configure custom easing, custom movement speed and movement duration to tokens. No more will you suffer the lethargic slog of transporting tokens across the canvas. So let's, uh, with, we haven't done anything with it yet. If I drag Sorryman over here, look at the speed. I'm going to zoom this in slightly for you. Um, but watch how, how slowly Sorryman manages to move all the way across the canvas. So it takes a while, doesn't it? And if we're trying to move people deliberately from one place to another, that's a, that's a bit rubbish. Um, so Token Ease is designed to help us deal with that. So if I go to Configure Settings, I can go to Token Ease and we can look at some of these settings here. And we can see that we've got a token speed default animation. Uh, six, it says is the foundry default. Um, so let's make sure we're on six actually. I thought it should have been on six to start with, but as you saw, it defaulted to three. As the token movement duration sets the default animation duration for movement in milliseconds, overrides token speed. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, token ease movement linear. Okay, so oh, I see. Okay, so there's lots of different ways. Let's stick with linear for the moment. Um, and that's just the way that it calculates that so the maths in the background that's all um, ease in ease out sets the type of easing to use at the start and end of the animation okay so that's when it starts moving and stops moving uh, and play animation on keypad movement but well, we don't need to worry about that so let's see if it's default we've changed our token speed to six uh, let's move Sorryman across there that is definitely faster than the what was the three that's definitely an improvement. When it says the base game, I don't think that's correct. I think the base game was probably three that it was set on. Uh, it certainly wasn't moving this quickly um, for us previously. So I suspect there's been part of an update in the module. Um, just that wording hasn't been updated. Let's go back to configure settings. Let's make it eight. See what that does for us. So I'm going to boom. There we go. That's much more speedy, isn't it? And now, obviously, you need to make a judgment call on what you think is too fast. You know, you might think that's too fast for your game. Um, do you want your players whizzing around too quickly or not? That's entirely up to you. But it's nice to be able to configure it. Um, I'm going to put mine at 8 and leave it at 8 for the moment. Uh, now, it talks about this uh, token ease movement. Let's try a different one and just see what that does. So, I've chosen sign. Can you see the way it accelerates, gets to maximum speed, and then slows down again? So that's what they're talking about, this kind of this animation, is how that affects it. Um, you could use a quadratic. Now you might think that actually this isn't making a huge amount of difference. And to be honest, it's, it's not, is it? Um, elastic. What's elastic look like? <laughs> Boing. <laughs> so uh, not for me thanks but, but quite a bounce is going to be equally as um, silly I, I suspect oops yeah equally equally as silly now you may have a scenario where that is what you want I most certainly do not want that myself but you can play with these and decide what's going to work for you I think I'm happy with linear to be honest yeah yeah, either linear or sine is fine, just with that acceleration and, and then and slowing down at the end. Uh, and ease in and out, so you can actually just say, only do that particular animation when you start, um, and don't have it at the end. 
um, or you can have it at both which is what we had so you could have it out so the end of it and you could put bounce on so it won't bounce at the beginning it will only bounce at the end that's the theory so normal movement boing and then bounces into position at the end boing <laughs> i'm having far too much fun with this this is silly <laughs> you decide what's going to work for you uh, I'm going to stick with, I think, with sign. Uh, it's a useful one, though. I will be adding this to my uh, to my normal play thing. Um, yeah, and obviously, as you, I'm sure you're aware, you can use your key, arrow keys, to move around as well. So that last option on here is about using that animation. So if we put bounce on, just to be silly. Um, yeah, we're not going to see that anywhere near as effectively because we're only moving short distance. The further distance you move, the more exacerbated that animation is. Um, but yeah, that you can have it apply to those if you want to. Yeah, that. Yeah, not not a fan of that one myself. Um, I'm going to leave when I put it on the other one that off. I'm going to have mine on sign, I think, and I think speed eight is about right for moving further distances. Anyway. Another short, quick one, um, but another really, really useful one. So uh, for anybody who suggested that one, thank you ever so much indeed. That's a, that's a nice one. We like that. See ya.